Okay, people, this is Asani Matthews, and I'm going to show you how to use DVD Studio Pro 4. So we're going to go ahead and open it up. Let's get right down to business here. Anyway, there it is. All right, what we want to do now, uh, this is DVD Studio Pro, and what I'm going to show you is exactly how to just uh, really work with DVD Studio Pro. Now, what I always do first when I work with this program is I always import my MPEGs in before anything, whatever you're working with. So what you do you go up here at the top where it says import uh, assets so you just open that up and it take you to the uh, take you to a folder where you have your your footage at so all you gotta do is just highlight them all whichever ones you want in there and then uh, import them and as you see it doesn't take long to import what they do is they come down here and they all highlight it there okay sorry about that now what I'm about to do is I'm about to take these. What I do, what I always start off with, is I I put them in my video track here. You have to put them in the track first, or you can select what menu you want your your template. So what I do is come over here to the to the right and select the template. Which I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select I'm gonna select a real simple one. I'm gonna show you later on how to custom make your own, but I'm gonna select a simple one just for now, and then uh we'll go from there alright now since I got a template set already what I want to do is I just want to add a couple of these footages in my track so I can have them I'm a, so I can have them linked so what you want to do down here at the bottom and I want to show you something it has your it has your film and your your audio you want to select them both and add them into the top line where it says V1 you want to add them there and you can just link them all together so that's what I'm gonna do real fast for you okay and now uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do that first and then I come back to you okay hold on okay I'm back what I did was I selected all the footage that I had in that corner the bottom left corner now what you want to do let me let me focus in a little bit for you so you can see what I'm doing okay now what you want to do is make chapters so where my splits are at is where it's gonna be my chapters. So we already have a chapter one right here where it says chapter one. So see see my split right here. I'm just go ahead and add another chapter right there at that split. So now I got chapter two. So every split that you have in there, if if you have just one long footage and you want to just make chapters, you can do it like that. But since I have separate footage, I just want to go ahead and just make chapters out of that. See how it gave me chapter three you know just so on and so on real simple stuff and I'm gonna go ahead and add my chapters actually I got uh, one more to add in and then I'll be done here actually two more huh yep so actually I got five okay now that I got my chapters selected and everything I'm good to go and if you can see up here at the top corner where it says track one all that footage that's down there in the video one is in this track so you have everything in one track which is a good thing that's how you want to do it so when you hit play it'll play your everything that you have on this DVD so now what you want to do now is link them connect them and that's what this is we're gonna connect them All right, now what we want to do is we want to add in another menu because this is where all your chapters are gonna go in this menu okay so once you add that menu in just go ahead and bring it down here it doesn't matter once you add that menu in you can go ahead and and highlight that one and then go ahead come over here to the to the right and select which one you want so go ahead and pick the same one that's that's all I do is pick the same one see how it gives you gives you six buttons to mess with now that we good to go now I'm gonna show you exactly how to add your chapters into these buttons all you have to do let's go ahead and um, focus in just a little bit now what all you have to do is click on button one here now if you click on button one as you can see it opened up down here now when it opens up down here all you have to do is go to at assets open it up 
and then button one add in whichever one you want to be in button one just click it and it'll be in button one and as you can see it's dark now and then you can also pick which footage you want to show in button one so say for instance you want to just go ahead and go there and it'll show that in button one just slide it over it doesn't matter it's nothing hard to do so now what I'm gonna do is just add my footage into these buttons and whatever buttons I don't use I'm gonna just delete them you can delete them you don't have to keep them because if you keep them it's gonna be in your footage okay so let me go ahead and delete I mean not delete but add in my footage so I can go on with the video okay okay I'm back as you can see I got all my footage selected and actually I used all my buttons so this remember all these all this uh, these uh, menu uh, your your film is in menu 2 and it's also gonna be in menu 1 but we'll, I'll show you exactly what's going on with that one okay so now what we're gonna do is connect everything and if you can see up here at the top we have connections so go ahead let's go over here and go ahead and click, click selections and then we're gonna go ahead and work with menu one first now to show you something real fast you don't have to have you can you don't have to use all the buttons see how I say button one button two button three you don't have to use them all what you can do here is click them and for, for, for the first button what I'm gonna do is click and I mean type in play which is gonna be my play button and then I'm gonna go ahead and type in resume which is gonna be my resume button and then I'm gonna type in oops select titles now if you a uh, little worried about your spelling which I just spelled select wrong uh, what's good about DVD Studio Pro they have they actually have a, a thing in here where it co correct your spelling and it let you know if you spelled everything right so if you come down here at the bottom everything that I'm spelling is down here and all you have to do is highlight everything right click if you have a right click mouse with your Apple and then go ahead and say start speak and if you hit that start speak it'll speak for you select titles see it says select titles so it let me know that I spelled it right and then what I'm gonna do with the rest of the buttons since I'm not gonna use them is I'm gonna go ahead and delete them so go ahead come up here to the top and just delete that button and you can delete that button and you can delete that button okay now that I got my button selected for menu one we're gonna go ahead and go back to connections okay so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and focus out and now what we're about to do is connect these buttons okay so now that I have button one what I want to do now is see where it says track one sorry about the bad footage you guys just go ahead and highlight that and see I got button one highlighted and I got track one highlighted now all you got to do is come up here to connect and as you can see there's nothing with button one right now once you connect that it's gonna show track one here that means track one is activated with button one and if you come over here you see that line with the uh, track one track one got a line with it now that means it's connected cool huh alright now what I want to do is go back to button two and I want to over here on top you see where it says resume just go ahead and highlight that once you highlight it and then hit connect it'll bring resume down to button two okay now for button three it's gonna be real tricky but it's cool as you can see that menu two is not highlighted or got a line with it once you connect once you highlight number two here and then hit connect uh, actually let's go ahead and highlight that one too <laughs> so button three is going to be my menu two go ahead and connect bam there it is and look it is connected cool huh all right now now it's connected and I'm gonna show you how to check that in a minute okay now what we're gonna do 
is connect everything to menu two. So now menu two, once you connect, when you double click it, it bring that. So all you gotta do is come back to here. Now what you wanna do is connect everything, connect your chapters so that menu two can work. Now with menu two, you wanna go ahead and open up track, track one actually. See how I got all, all six of the chapters in there? You want to go ahead and add those footages to menu two. So button one is going to have chapter one with it. So go ahead and highlight that and highlight button one and connect. Now, when you do that, you see that menu two is connected to track one. Isn't that cool? All right, now what I'm going to do, since I showed you that, I'm going to go ahead and uh, finish that. That way I can get more into my video and uh, I'll be right back, okay?